Hello, this is meteorologist Todd Jacoby, and welcome to the Arkansas Weather Blog. We are your ticket to big weather events, and as you know, the National Weather Service rated the uh, horrific damage in Mayflower and on up towards Valonia EF4. That's what the rating will get, even though the whole tornado was not EF4, only portions of it were, it gets that designation of EF4, making this one of the, uh, one of the strongest tornadoes we have seen in Arkansas. Uh, it's in the top obviously top one, more than, I haven't looked at the numbers, but it's probably top 1% of tornadoes. It was not EF5, it was a high-end EF4. EF5, we haven't had one in Arkansas in 85 years, and thankfully that streak continues. We want to keep that one going, but if that was uh, not EF5 damage, I would hate to see what EF5 damage looks like, and then we've seen pictures of that in Moore and in Joplin, but uh, the purpose of this video, twofold, I'm going to show you the official track. The Weather Service does this, uh, plots it on Google Maps. They do a great job of this after every major tornado. Nothing new, but uh, but they. I, I really want to thank them very much for doing, John Robinson, uh, Renee Fair, and, and the entire survey crew uh, with the National Weather Service. I, th they had a lot of work cut out for them, as you know, a lot of people do, uh, but how thorough they are with their surveys. Uh, we're looking here at Google Maps here, and I'm, I'll give you some perspective. You see Lake Maumelle, here's Highway 10 right in here, Pinnacle Mountain State Park, Highway 300. Like I said, the uh, east end of Lake Maumelle. Here's Lake Norell out here in western Pulaski County, and there's Perrin out there in Sling County. So you see this is the beginning of the tornado track. I remember looking at it on radar, and it went from, some, from basically nothing to something in one volume scan, and then it put down a debris cloud, uh, a, debris, a debris ball in the next scan, but... Uh, this is indicating here EF0 damage, and then you start getting into EF1 damage out here in western Pulaski County. And then it gets closer. It crosses Highway 10. Let's just zoom in uh, pretty tight here to Highway 10. Here's the Ferndale uh, cutoff road. So this is past uh, uh, Joe T. Robinson, further out towards the west. <clears throat> you see the uh, golf club out here. Jolly Rogers Marina is out here. So it's between. it's just to the east of Jolly Rogers Marina. It crossed Highway 10. And to show you the information here, it does show that uh, tree, trunk snapped. It was EF1, uh, the, the damage here. And it's showing that the date of the damage was at 15 UTZ. So that's at 7.15 uh, p.m. that night. It crossed over uh, the far end of Lake Maumel. As you can see, there's Pinnacle Mountain. There's natural steps. And uh, this is indicating here that EF1 damage trees depart, uh, debarked with only stubs of the largest branches uh, remaining. And then you see these... Uh, blues, cyan, whatever, EF0 damage. Then you see where it really picked up. It crossed the Arkansas River and then went into the uh, plantation, the River Plantation subdivision, which is right in here. And I actually had a friend that just moved from there. Uh, she just, just moved, she and her family, to uh, West Little Rock. Anyway, uh, that's why on the air I was very familiar with that, uh, with that area when I was talking about it. Anyway, EF4 damage, it quickly increased. Uh, this is where it's all walls collapsed, showing certain locations here. That's where EF4 damage was no, noted here. And uh, zoom in a little bit tighter. Here's uh, 365. I believe it's called the Pilarum area. This here says EF4 damage. Concrete barriers were blown over and moved. And there's a damage photograph. There's the uh, concrete barriers, and they were removed. You see state police vehicle. That's Highway 365. So that's where they had a photograph of that. So moving on, there's more damage here. Um, EF3 damage, the center of the tornado path is what they're saying. Uh, and actually, I've got another friend that has a farm right out here. Missed it by a quarter of a mile. Missed his place. And I, too, was getting information from him that night. That's how I was getting some of the, the he was texting me information as he saw it, as he was going up and down Highway 365. Here's EF0 damage going into Mayflower. Uh, there's Mayflower. Here's all the damage that they were able to... I mean, there are obviously a lot more, uh, but just to show you some of the damage here. EF3 damage as it crossed over 365... Or, I'm sorry, Interstate 40. Uh, here's some more. There's EF3 damage, metal building systems, houses badly damaged, lumber yard damage, many 18-wheelers overturned, shop building destroyed, and businesses damages, numerous cars damaged. And uh, there's the Pilarum Creek area here. And we'll follow. There's, there's where it went over Dam Road uh, is the name of it. Uh, over the southern areas of uh, Lake Conway, 
Highway 89. I used to fish quite a bit right in this area. I uh, know the Arkansas Game and Fish is clearing debris out of the Lake Conway area. Let me widen this out just a little bit. And they will be finding debris in Lake Conway for many years to come. Uh, Clinton Road, it passes by. And uh, let me see if I can... EF3 damage here. Most walls collapse except small interior rooms. This is just to the east of Lake Conway. Auto Road moves on, gets to the Valonia Bypass. You want to know what this... Uh, Red triangle is, that means that it was uh, EF4. House is completely destroyed. Only slabs remaining at several places. No anchor bolts used in foundation. Vehicles ended up hundreds of yards away. So, you know, that's the thing National Weather Service goes and looks at to see how well, I mean, you, you look at a slab of concrete and you think house is blown off of their foundation, which is horrific, absolutely horrific, which indicates major damage, but doesn't necessarily mean that it's EF4. Uh, Five damage. Uh, then it goes into uh, Valonia. EF4 damage, one or two family residents here. Houses gone, mostly family buildings damaged. Valonia, Main Street. We'll zoom in on this. Here's the tornado track. Looks like it went right over, uh, very close to a uh, football field here. Uh, EF4, Dollar General Store, apparently. Here's a subdivision, which I believe I'm going to show you video of in just a little bit, some aerial footage. It continues on past Valonia. It's a very strong and significant tornado. It goes past El Paso. Lifts off the ground. It weakens a little bit. Lifts off the ground. Let me widen out. We'll show you. There it is. Picks up again on the ground. This is uh, crossing over Highway 36. Let me just show you here. EF1, Metal Barn leaned over, shingles off houses, and then it continued on up the road, touched down a couple more times, total of five touchdowns, just south of Pleasant Plains, getting close here to Independence County, and then finally lifts off the uh, off the ground. So let me widen that, the whole thing out. We just went uh, along the entire duration of this, and let me widen that out, show you how close this got to Little Rock. Uh, here's Little Rock right here, obviously, Conway. And radar just uh, it did a good job of picking this up and helping us to warn it because, uh, as well, radar is located right here. So it wasn't very far from the radar site at all. So that was another factor in helping us really seeing uh, well on radar uh, when this thing ramped up. Uh, Brian Enfinger, fantastic gentleman. If you have not been able to meet him uh, before, uh, shot this video, and I'm, I'm going to show you. Hope this is recording. That subdivision I told, I showed you. Uh, this is on Google Maps what it looked like. Um, that's what it looked like, and then this is what it looked like after the tornado hit it. Foundations, basically, that's all that left. That's all that's left. Uh, here's some aerial photography, and, and uh, you can see here uh, major roof damage here. They had to put a tarp on it, and I'm sure there's damage to these homes here, but they look fairly intact. They look very intact, and then all the damage right through this subdivision. Just, uh, you know, I mean, words just can't look at that automobile there. There's another look at the house with the tarp on it. And then the other ones, I see some shingle damage to that one. There's a tarp on that one. Uh, just look at the cars here, piled up. I mean, this is, I mean, all that's left, I mean, I don't have to tell you this, but look at, you know, people, this is what we saw on radar was all this stuff getting sucked up into the storm, the debris ball. These are the people's lives that we saw on the radar. As Ryan Vaughn with KAIT, uh, Put out on, somebody wrote a blog that lives uh, in Valonia. It's not about numbers. It's not about colors on a radar. Uh, it's about the lives um, now, and, and, you, and you see that how they've just been completely torn apart. Bulldozers out. There's some homes there with the frames, the walls still standing. I mean, there's still complete loss, but you can see that that would not be EF5 damage, and just thrown out over that field. But this is just—it's remarkable video. And uh, I, I can't thank Brian Enfinger enough, uh, KTV photojournalist and storm chaser. He's, uh, I think everybody will agree, uh, best in the state, one of the best in the country. Uh, the guy, what he does is uh, unbelievable, and we are very, very uh, blessed to have him on staff at KTV. See, an, uh, looks like a, a police, law enforcement there going down the road. I don't even know what road it is. I mean, just look at the, look at the lives that were torn apart driveways you see the driveways leading off the road and where the slabs are that's all that's left and then you look at these homes and uh 
you got to wonder what they're what they're feeling right now the residents look at the american flag waving right there can you see that the american flag but you got to really wonder what uh the residents of the homes that were spared in the subdivision what, you know how they're feeling i mean i i can't imagine i almost feel guilty that mine was left standing and and uh, others weren't I mean, they're almost a guilt i don't know i've never been in tornado damage like this before uh, but EF4 damage there. All right, let me close out of this. Escape, does that work? And there's my Facebook page. And then we're back to the tornado track. So there you have it. I, I hope that this gave you a little bit more perspective and, and there will be more stories out of there uh, from days, weeks, and months to come. Uh, so our, our hearts and our prayers continue to be with uh, everybody that has been affected by this t tornado from... Western Pulaski County, Mayflower, Bologna, White County, Center Hill, all the way up to northeastern Arkansas. Thank you again for trusting us at Channel 7 for your severe weather information, and thank you for coming to the Arkansas Weather Blog. We are your ticket to big weather events.